Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another GBL game. Today, the Kansas City Monarchs host... I didn't see who we're playing. I think the New Orleans Heavy Spinheads. Winners. We're at Mulebach Field. Baseball coming your way on the show. It's an it's afternoon New game. Yep, the New Orleans Spinheads Kansas are 6-5. six and five. Kansas City Monarchs are 13-1. and one. I so much appreciate uh, San Diego Studios uh, right, that we'll the logo is not showing up this, this game. So many times you go to play an online game and your logo does not appear in the first game you Just play. It's always there the second and game you play, but 50% of the time, 60, maybe even 70% of the time, the logo does not appear in the overlay on your first game. And I appreciate that, because it's always beautiful when you're recording to have your logo not appear on the screen. Catfish Hunter is playing as the starting pitcher for the Kansas City Monarchs here at Mulebach Field. Their home stadium. And I believe it said that we're 11-1. Off to a good start, nonetheless. This is the newest strike. I mean, that's mini season. Right on the, black. the uh, season know, five again, team Scott affinity. The ability to hit those spots. Mini so season. To do anything with as a he nice goes pitch. Down looking. Well, that bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Yeah, Trey. Chris is dissing you, man. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Chris, the GBL is different for a lot of reasons, and one of those reasons is having only eight teams in the league. How does that impact these teams? Well, I think it changes a lot of things for these hitters. I think if you added more teams to the league, you could cut down the travel some. Is empty. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. Most obvious difference is it's a video game really though. Travel really doesn't matter. Pitchers and it's not like they're running through a pitching book with 30 different teams anymore. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup. Good start for game, Catfish Hunter. Be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. Any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Here's Francisco Lindor hey. in there for strike one. So who does it help more, the pitchers or the hitters? I think it helps the hitters because they become more familiar with the pitcher's stuff. The shortened schedule, it doesn't help though, and that cuts into the amount of at bats they get. So the GBL, it's just a different beast, boo. 0 and 2 now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Here's the 0-2. Got him. Got him. Strikes out the Good inning by in Catfish Hunter. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. He is excited as he should be. That was a fantastic inning. Great way to start the game. Welcome back. And on the hill here today, Jesus Lazardo. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he comes at hitters with a five. Here's Trey the Turner the leading things off. Those statistics are not accurate. Those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Yeah. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Murphy makes the grab one away. Batting second, not shortstop. Ellie. Here's some real power at the plate. Ellie De La Cruz. Sitting 313, right. says 10 stolen bases. He may have that. He steals two bases at a time when he gets a single. Swing and a miss. Strike one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. The 0 1. Swings through that one for strike two. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. 
Pitch misses. Going to count one and two. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a one two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. On the ground. Throw over to Dunn. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. That is good. The designated hitter. Jimmy. So digging in, Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy Rollins. Those and stats are not accurate for him. He just joined the team. With one swing. There's a drive right center field. Fairly deep to the track. Right in front of the wall. Nice catch. He covered a lot of ground. And we're still scoreless after one. Welcome back to Mulebach Field. Top of the second. And now the first baseman, Adam Dunn. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Hunter back to work. Not sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. That's in there. And that's strike two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Maybe he's just afraid. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Well, that's not going to happen. We have to get Garrett Whitlock some PXP. Five-inch break on the changeup. The break and the speed difference, plenty enough to make Dunn swing and miss. Here's a big power threat, Gary Sheffield. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Next offering is in for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He got him. Well, right now he's in cruise With control. the slider. Pilot just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you come in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. That slider is an off-speed pitch as well. So it has dual and threats first offering is fouled off. to a right-handed batter. It's slower than normal. And it breaks and away. Deals. And that one fouled off. Ground ball left side and foul ball. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is foul back. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Wow. Yeah, I was just going to say he's throwing a lot of pitches here. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Good crowd here at Mulebach Field to see the Pinheads and the Monarchs. To center and a base hit. Couldn't put him away. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Jimmy Rollins can't hold up, and that's a strike.
ground ball to the right side. And he Ooh. grabs it foul. Oh, that was close. And Got down him. on strikes he goes. That ends the frame. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Very solid two innings of work for Catfish Hunter. We go to the bottom of the second at Mulebach Field. No score. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to third. Fires across the diamond and quickly one away in the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of Not keeping good. the ball out of the no, air. Sir. Let's the defense work behind yeah. him with another ground ball. Good execution. Griffey. Next to hit, Ken Griffey, Griffey Sr. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. In Fly the ball left, left field. field. It in on the Michael run. Conforto puts it away. Two pitches, two outs. Lizardo's pitching good. There's strikes. The right Still two down now. Gary and Sheffield. Gary Sheffield. Those are not his numbers. Well, look out here. But Lizardo's like pitching good. There's the strikes. Situation. He's throwing strikes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling. Sheffield gives it a ride right center field deep. That's going to one hop the wall. And Sheffield has himself a two out double here in the bottom of the second inning. As we look for the first run of the ball game, he was all over that one. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now the go ahead runs in scoring position. So big all right, here's Michael Conforto. 364, six Michael hours, 14 Conforto. RBIs. Those are not accurate numbers. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Strike oh, two. That damn slider. I knew it was going to be another slider, slider and I swung anyway. For strike three. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. On to the third inning. Now the left fielder, Michael Conforto. All right, that's it for Catfish. The pitcher on here, Garrett Whitlock. And we all know about a slider. It's just Whitlock's been in one game. He's got one save, no game. ERA. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And a pitch. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Obviously, it's not a save situation, so we're just... We have to get him to speed. For his mission. Got him swinging. So we're going to let him pitch as long as he can go. Murphy. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And ball one. And a 1-1. One -one. And that one off the outside edge. Didn't miss by much. And it's even up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of the levers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. That's in there. And one and one. 
Top of the third, no score. Swing and a good miss. inning. Struck good him inning. Out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. They hand the ball over to a new arm, David Robertson. He's been in, says 12 games, but they haven't played 12 games. So I doubt he's 2 0. And here's the first baseman, Don Mattingly. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And a pitch. Mattingly gives it a ride, left field, fairly deep, to the track, to the wall, over the scoreboard, Don Mattingly, walk off home run, an unlikely power source, 374 foot shot to the opposite field, over the scoreboard in left field, Don Mattingly gives the Kansas City Monarchs a walk off victory. is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, Robertson threw one pitch, right there. and he nice didn't get it back. back. Nice win for the team. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. So Garrett Whitlock gets the victory. David Robertson comes in, throws one pitch, and takes the loss. The Kansas City Monarchs scored one run on two hits. The New Orleans Pinheads scored no runs on one lone hit. Great pitching performance for the Monarchs between Catfish Hunter and Garrett Whitlock. And Don Mattingly with the walk-off opposite field home run on the first pitch in the bottom of the third inning. So the Monarchs improved to 12-1 and one on the season now. There is another look at Mattingly's oppo over the scoreboard. He's obviously your player of the game. Gary Sheffield was one for one with a double. That's the only other Kansas City hit. Garrett Whitlock pitched one perfect inning, striking out the side to get the victory as the Kansas City Monarchs walk off the New Orleans Pinheads. one nothing, in a fantastic finish, a walk-off home run off the bat of Don Mattingly. Garrett Whitlock, the winner, he's 1-0. He has no ERA. David Robertson takes the loss. He is 2-1. So the Kansas City Monarchs drop the New Orleans Pinheads, walk them off at Mulebach Field in this afternoon's GBL game. Thank you for joining. Hope you had fun. I'll see you next time.